Hello everyone, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Welcome to my afternoon tea time on a card. I can see everyone coming on. Welcome. So as you can see, I have some pretty stuff here going on. I'm going to be using some products that will be available on January 4th from the mini catalog. And the designer paper you see here is from the celebration that you can earn for free. So let me just give it a few more seconds for everyone to hop on. I hope you guys all had a Merry Christmas. And then of course we've, we have New Year coming up. Okay, I can see everybody's finding me okay. So I'm going to be using some new products today. I'm using the Rainbow of Happiness stamp set out of the new mini catalog that debuts on January 4th. And then we have the dies, and I have some out here that you can see. Pretty rainbow. And I'm gonna show you how, what I do when I, sorry about the crinkling. As I am cutting rainbows, cause you can see here that I've got a bunch cut out. I'm gonna use these tonight, but I'm not going to use all of the pieces. And then you have this big one that cuts out um, bigger, uh, what do you call those, rays, rainbow rays, whatever they're called. What I do is I keep all of my extras in a cello bag right inside my case. So you can see I have a lot of colors to play with here. I just think it's an easy way not to waste these because they're already cut out and ready to go. So I just keep them right inside. And then the paper you see here is from our celebration catalog. Now celebration for you guys that are new happens a few times a year. It's, uh, it goes on for two months. We have products that you can earn for free. This is one of them. This is called the sunshine and rainbow designer paper. It comes in six by six. I'm going to flip it over to see, uh, so you can see the other side. So look at the pretty colors. And at the end of my video tonight, I'm going to give, uh, be giving away 12 of these sheets. So you need to hang on and watch to the end and I'll tell you what you need to do. And I'm also going to draw for my cards. Now, just a few things I started featuring this week. I'm picking one or two products from the celebration catalog and I'm going to feature them. I'm doing five projects. So this week I started on Sunday. I'm featuring the friendly hello stamp set. This one is a level two, which means there's a package of designer paper that goes with this. I'm going to show you the cards that I created. Um, I have this one that I haven't shown yet, but these are all created using the designer paper that comes with the stamp set for free. So two pieces. This one is a level two, so you need a hundred dollar order to earn. So there's another card. I've got five to show you. That one goes this way and then there. And then next week, next or this Sunday, I'm going to start featuring a, a new product. So every week you're going to see five cards using the same product. So the, again, this is the Friendly Hello stamp set with the designer paper you see here. This comes with uh, free with a $100 order, which takes place on January 4th. Okay, so let me, we're doing, I'm doing a technique for you tonight. I'm going to bring the cards in. I got two cards to show you. And again, I'm using the same exact layers, but changing the orientation of the card. And I'm doing the floating strips technique. You can see that I used all rainbow colors. Now the floating strips, I hope you can see the shiny between the strips. It's on a window sheet and it's glued in place with stamping dimensional and adhesive foam strips. You can see there's some height to them and it looks like they're floating because they're on a window sheet. And I'm going to do the vertical and the horizontal for you. And the paper I'm using is actually these two sheets. It makes it easy because these are already in strips. So all I did was use my paper cutter and cut the strips down. And if you actually take the designer paper and cut it in half at three, you can do a lot of strips and make a lot of cards with this. So let me go ahead and get my paper cutter out. You can see on the cards that I used 
four of the wider strip and then three of the smaller. So I've got four left on this one. I'm gonna use my paper cutter just to cut four of these. And as I'm doing this, I, knew, I do need to take out that little tiny white spade or that little white line. Look how just a little hair of a white line that's showing. And you can do this with designer paper scraps. You can do this with card uh, stock scraps, anything you have laying around. So there's three. And you don't have to follow, if you want to do what I'm doing and create a rainbow effect, you don't have to follow the colors of a rainbow. Okay, so there's my big ones. Now I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to go, okay, I'm not going to use the first one because I already have that color. So I'm going to put that one aside for another card. And I only need three of these. But no measuring. I'm just cutting all these little strips the way they are. This one is already a color that I have, but I'll just spread it out. I just need one more. So with this um, designer paper sheet, you can do a lot because the, the strips are so small. Okay, so I've got three and four. And I'm going to bring in this one that I've already, I already did one ahead of time. So you can see this is on a window sheet that measures, I think it's four by three. Let me make sure. So four by three. Now I'm going to bring in some adhesive strips. These are our foam adhesive strips. Uh, the product number is 141825. You get two of these, you get a lot. I've had these for a long time. That's how, how long they last. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over. And I'm gonna add dimensionals to the big ones. I didn't want you to have to watch me do this twice, so that's why I did this one ahead of time. I'm just putting three dimensionals on each one. And then I'm gonna use my foam strips. Let me get some scissors. I don't want to waste this little piece. I'll add that on. And we'll start another strip. Whoops. This is actually the longest part of my card, believe it or not. Okay, there's all of each strip with either dimensionals or foam strips. Now, these are all ready to go. I'm going to bring in all of the other uh, products I'm using. So you already saw the Rainbow of Happiness stamp set along with the dies. And I've already gone ahead and pre-cut the clouds. There's three dies. This one cuts two. So I have four clouds per card. So I have eight clouds here. I cut Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, Bermuda Bay, and Polished Pink. And you're going to see what's neat about cutting these ahead of time like this. For inks, Bermuda Bay and Polished Pink. Now for this card, I used this die from, let me get my, my die, it's from the Hippo Happiness Bundle. It's the Hippo and Friends die, so I've got the larger one that goes with this set for this card, and I've got the larger one from this set for card number two. I've already gone ahead and cut those ahead of time. And then, lots of layers here. My window sheet for my second card. And then I've got Bermuda Bay. 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half. So let me go ahead and fold that on the score line. This one is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. 
And then another new product is the gingham embossing folder. I've gone ahead and done two of those. I'll try to see if I can, if you guys can see that. Now, what's really cool about this one, so this is the little squares in the middle are pressed down. So those are debossed, but when you flip it over, they become embossed. So you can use either side because they're the same. I'm gonna go ahead and glue those down first. Because there's embossing, I'm going to use my liquid glue. Okay, there's my first one. I've seen a lot of techniques uh, of, of cards using this technique. You can come up with so many different combinations. Okay, those are my two cards. Now on this one, I've already gone ahead and glued the strip. So now my next step, because this is a window sheet, I'm actually going to use tear and tape. I don't want the window sheet. Um, it might become loose by using the, the uh, seal or the liquid glue. So I'd rather use the tear and tape on this one. I'm going to glue this one in place and then I'll show you how I did um, the strips on my second card. Whoops. Oh, and just to let you know, I usually go live on Fridays on my Debbie's Designs business page. I'm not going to this week because it's New Year's Eve. It's going to go right in the center. Okay, now you can see that it looks like it's floating. You can see the edges there that are popped up. Okay, so let's bring in the window sheet. Now I know you guys probably won't be able to see this. What I did is started out on the very bottom with one of the larger, the wider strips. need to flip these over so I can see my colors okay we get a lot of yellows so I'm going to start with a yellow and I did about a quarter of an inch spacing in between here's my first one and I'm going to go with the darker yellow on the next one I'm just trying to spread out all of these yellow tones And I'll go with green. This would be the granny apple. And let's see, I'm going to go with the blue one next. Now it's easy for me to do this right now because I had my first one to practice on so I could get my spacing correctly. The way I did it the first time is I used my grid sheet and I found the center of my window sheet. Okay, one more. So I was able to figure out what the spacing was that I needed. That's going to go right here. Okay, then we're going to get the tear and tape. I just find that the window sheets are so slippery that it's easier to use the tear and tape on them. Okay, let me get my piercing tool. Whoops, I didn't get that one. I, I yanked the whole thing off. Let me see. There we go. a hard time peeling this with my nails I liked using my piercing tool instead okay and on this one it's going to lay horizontal so it's going to go right there now I'm going to do my rainbows now this is going to take a little bit of time only because I have to glue each individual rainbow I'm going to go ahead and do the stamping first on the sentiment So you, you make me happy is the first one. It's going to go on this shape. And because 
this one is going to go vertical. I couldn't fit that on there. So this one says a little something to brighten your day. It's going to go on the bottom. And now we're going to start gluing the little rainbows. Now, what is great about this is what I did, and I'm going to do probably totally different than what I did on my two cards. I started out with the largest, number two, number three, and number four. On my next one, I'm going to go with the largest. So number one, wait, I'm going to start with a different color. How about I start with one, two, three, and four. And then you have enough to do two more cards. That's what's really neat about this. Okay, so let me flip these over. I'm going to add some adhesive. And I could have used our adhesive sheets to cut the rainbows out too. That would have made it so much easier. Okay. Let me start out with this one. I'm going to go way up to the top. So, whoops. Number, whoa. Now I got glue all over my fingers already. Okay, there's number two. I was going to stop and finish this one, but I think because I have glue on my fingers, I'm just going to do all of the rainbow pieces on both cards. And then I will wipe my fingers so I can add the clouds. It's kind of like making a little puzzle. It's kind of neat. But you know what? I, I think of my customers, my local customers... And I can see some of the girls probably complaining about having to glue all these little pieces. It takes patience. It's going to make something beautiful in the end. There's number two. Whoops. I was doing good. One more. Okay, there's my little rainbow. So let me stop and get wipe I'm just reading your comments oh a lot of you guys like the colors I'm using and the technique isn't it a neat technique it's really easy okay now I'm going to take and split up my clouds make sure they're different and I use the mini dimensionals so we're going to glue those in place I just love doing this because, like I said, it's like doing a little puzzle. You just kind of stick everything in its place. Okay, let me just, I'm going to just add all of the dimensionals on here. And one dimensional on the small cloud is plenty. And then I added two on the larger cloud. Okay, so I'm going to go up here. And what I tried to do with my clouds, I'm just covering the ends of the rain. What do you call each individual strip? I don't know. Are they are they rays? I don't even know what they're called. You guys need to educate me. It's escaping me. Let's see if anybody answers. Okay, let's see. That one goes there. I should bring my cards closer so you can see both of them. I'm thinking of a ray of sunshine, so that doesn't make sense, does it? One more of these, and then I'm going to finish off with this little tiny heart image. Beams. Oh, Linda says beams. Maybe. Okay, this is just a little, it's got a cluster of three hearts. I'm just going to add those around the clouds. Let's 
see. We'll do one more right here. Okay. And I actually, I want to make sure these are not upside down. I actually just glued these flat because you've already got the height of the strips. Okay, so this one, look how pretty that is. This one's going to go right there. And this one right here. Now, before I, I let you know what we need to do to win the cards or the designer paper, I just want to go over one thing with you guys because this all starts on January 4th. So we have the mini catalog, and I can't show you what's inside yet. And we have the celebration catalog. Now, the paper you can earn with a $50 order, but I wanted to show you what's going on on January 4th. So just an idea, if you really like the bundle that I just showed you, which would be the stamp set and the dies, along with the paper, if you order the bundle with a package of cardstock, I just put down the brights because the brights make me think of rainbows, that is enough to qualify for a $50 order and you get the sunshine and rainbows designer paper for free. So that's option number one on January 4th. Option number two is joining the Stamping Up family. You get to choose $125 worth of products. And I made a little bundle here for you using the rainbow bundle that I just used, a package of Bright's cardstock, one, two, three, four ink pads, a package of white cardstock, a package of envelopes, a package of the br um, brushed brass butterflies. I gotta show you those. These are so cute, and I can imagine putting some of these on there. Look how cute these are. So a, a package of those, and then a Wink of Stella, and you can color some of your rainbows and add some sparkle. And then lastly, a package of the dimensionals I just used. That is enough to qualify for the $125 worth of products. You pay $99 in free shipping, but it doesn't end there. You also add in two free stamp sets of your choice. I went in and looked online and some stamp sets cost up to $39. So that's $78 added to this bundle. And I will put this on the page so you guys can look at it. Uh, but I would love for you to join my team on January 4th. And no, you do not have to sell. You do not have to have classes. You do not have to have parties you would just be joining a discount club. Okay, that's my spiel for tonight. And now I'm going to choose a name for a set of cards and then 12 sheets of the designer paper. And you guys, all you need to do in the comments, comment with the word rainbow starting now. Okay, so I have my two winners. Um, like I said, I won't be back live until next Wednesday, and I'm going to be using some more new products. So have a good, happy new year, everyone. And stay safe if you are going out and driving, and I will see you guys next week. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.